So, stick your hands up if you are getting annoyed of this weather in the UK. Oh, it's uh, Tuesday, no, it's Monday the 19th today, and I've just been down at the plot for about an hour, planning on doing loads of weeding at the plot, which I have done, but it started tipping down, and I've had to come to the polytunnel, so I thought I would do you a quick tour of the polytunnel now, and hopefully I'll be able to show you what's going on on plot 21. Um, I might even show you what's going on on plot 22 as well, which is the newest plot that I've got that is completely overgrown. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because the sun does come out and I'll show you what I've harvested today. So here's a quick look of what is going on in the polytunnel. I've got loads of green uh, moneymaker tomatoes, which I'm really happy with. Um, I do have one that has actually gone red now so really happy with that i'm going to be harvesting that before i go today um my yellow plum baby tomatoes are doing okay they're just so slow at ripening but i haven't actually pinched the tops out so that's probably why i've also got my cucumbers in at the back there which are kind of growing all a bit wonky which i imagine is something to do with sporadic watering but if you have a look just down there i've got one that i'm going to be harvesting later today Sorry about that, the camera just cut off right at the end of me showing you what was going on in the polytunnel, but it stopped raining now, so I thought I'd just come back out rather than trying to refilm anything. Um, now, I don't know about you, but I have been finding it increasingly hard to be able to actually get time to do gardening at the moment because the weather has been so bad. One of you mentioned on my previous video that kind of, why was I harvesting potatoes in the rain? Um, if you're not familiar with me, you know, I've got two young children and being able to get to the allotment when I pick and choose is not an option for me at the moment. So sometimes if it's raining, I've still just got to come out and get on with that job. Otherwise, it never gets done at all. And um, my other plot has been completely left to just run wild. <laughs> so, you know, I've just got to basically, yeah just grab that opportunity to come and garden when I can so today has been the first day where it's not been tipping down now I know we did just have a kind of five minutes of rain then but actually the weather is lovely again now so I want to show you what I've been up to and yeah not really a lot going on to be honest but I have a solution for that but that's gonna be coming in a video in a week or so hopefully um but yeah, enough of my talking. I'm going to spin you around and show you what's going on. Okay, I'm going to try and keep the camera as still as possible when I'm doing this because I know I have a tendency to spin it around a bit. Um, this bed here is where I had my onions and garlic in. I turned this into a squash bed. Um, I've not done really much about my pumpkins this year, which is crazy because pumpkin's my favourite thing to grow. Um, but I have a couple of courgette plants here. Um, as you can see, because I've not been down the plot for a few days, everything has grown crazily. Um, I've got pumpkins there. That's my jack beetle pumpkin that grew 20 little pumpkins on last year. But actually, um, I haven't got any pumpkins on that this year. Um, I've got a lovely lupin here that's gone to seed. So I need to harvest those because it's a really pretty colour. And I know quite a few people are after those seeds this year. Um, I have a pumpkin here. I can't actually remember what this pumpkin is called. I'm going to have to look at my notes. But it's growing really big and I'm very happy with that. I've got another um, massive courgette growing there, which I'm very happy with. And again, I've got some pumpkins around here, which are kind of just growing a bit unruly. But um, I'm not actually sure what they are apart from this is... Um, fills seeds and this was from Lizorab's big pumpkin that she had so um be really interesting to see what that grows into and i'm just about to bottle the wine actually that i made from that pumpkin so exciting times now um here is where i had the onions growing in this bed here and i've just dug it over quickly today ready for some winter um, and autumn vegetable garden to go in there so i'm very happy um and it just goes all the way around there and there's lots of weeds that I need to now put in the recycling or in my compost heap, sorry. 
and then um, just along here was where I had my first lot of rocket potatoes that I've dug up. Now, when I actually dug those again today, I picked up this many potatoes from just a quick dig over. So I'm pretty sure I've left loads of potatoes behind. I did mention before that I didn't think I was actually harvesting them properly. Um, I've still got some potatoes in the ground here. I think these are rocket. Um, but I can't remember or maybe they're Charlotte um, but yeah I'm not sure I have to look at my notes um, here's loads of weeds that I've just kind of dug out this morning my plot has been so well cultivated in the past it's actually really quick to weed when I need to um, and here I've got um, some other potatoes I think these may be Picasso but I'm not sure I'd have to again check my notes um, but yeah that's pretty much kind of all that's going on on the plots at the moment um, once you get down to kind of this area of the plot it gets really really wet so I need to make sure that I don't actually put anything kind of in the ground there until I've made some raised beds um, but yeah that's pretty much um, all that's going on at the moment um, the wood there is pretty much just kind of a pathway for me so I know not where I you know don't need to walk or where I need to walk basically so yeah pretty happy with kind of the top end there where I've got the um, where I've got the cosmos and the pumpkins so definitely um, a good idea growing the pumpkins and the squash in straight after your alliums have been harvested um, so that's great there um, also my um, timply rhubarb that I um, put in the ground back in September um, really wasn't doing much but as you can see it seems to have kind of taken quite well now and is growing quite nicely so I'm going to give that a really good kind of mulch of some um, ma manure or um, chicken pellets that I've got I can't remember what these flowers are called but they are absolutely lovely and the um, bees absolutely love them I think I'm going to be taking some of these home but as you can see look there's a little bee on there now um, but I am going to probably be taking one of these home but I'm looking forward to seeing um, how the seeds come out of these really because I'd love to grow lots more of these look at those lovely bees It's a few hours since I've got back from the allotment. Earlier I was just about to show you what I'd harvested and then another plot holder turned up. We started chatting in the polytunnel, then we had a look at his plot, he came and had a look at my plot and then, you know, within half an hour it was time to go and pick up Robin from nursery so I didn't manage to, um, I managed to show you then but it's always great when I bump into people at the allotment because our allotments are actually quite small in comparison to lots of others so it's not very often that you actually get to chat to somebody um, and that person was the chairman as well so I did have a chat with him about my um, overgrown plot and just reiterate to him that I'm not giving up on it um, and yeah he had a few ideas about it so when I'm at the allotment tomorrow I have a full gardening day which I'm hoping it's not going to rain, but I will definitely show you how overgrown it is at the moment and what the plans for that plot are because I've got so many plans and I do think it's really achievable. But also, um, I'm going to be working solely pretty much on my first plot so I can get that ready for the autumn garden that I've got i've got coming for that so that would be absolutely great um before i show you what i've harvested anyway i will sh show you what i've just foraged for now i've picked myself up some blackberries so at the moment i can pick as many blackberries as i want so i've got about i've got six of these containers already um in the freezer now so i think it's about three kilograms I'm not sure what that is in pounds um is that oh i don't know maybe nine pounds i'm not sure but 
really um, exciting to have that much in. Usually I pick them, they go straight in the freezer. I've got some blackberry wine um, scheduled for later in the week and I'm also hoping to get some jam and some chutney on the go. So pretty much my plan is every single day I'm going to go out, spend half an hour, take the dogs and pick up some blackberries because yeah, you can never have too many blackberries. Um, so yeah, let's spin the camera around and look what I have harvested this morning. So here is my little humble um, harvest of vegetables from my allotment this morning. Not very much at all, but it's always nice coming home with something, isn't it? The potatoes that I picked up were ones that I totally missed from harvesting the other day, but I did manage to stab through every single one of those, so that I need to make sure I eat those really quickly. Um, really disappointed that I've hardly got any tomatoes this year. Oh, it seems like I haven't hardly had any because most of the time I eat them before I even get them home um, but having that big red money maker makes all the difference and I'm hoping that all of the others go red really quickly. Um, I'm going to head off now but thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my episode today. If you are new to my channel and you have enjoyed watching please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of all of my latest videos. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye!